Hey everybody, Will Morton from the Jumpstart Project. We have another video that's going to jumpstart your faith. I thought it'd be fun to share with you my last trip to heaven. So just a little background, I have been a believer since April of 2002. And I got radically saved when Jesus walked into my bedroom. Pretty, pretty incredible experience in and of itself. But um, I was diagnosed with the condition and the doctor said that... Uh, you know, I'd never be healed of this condition. And uh, so it's been a long, arduous road of wrestling with God, contending, figuring out, like, why am I not healed? Now, the same year that I got saved, a few months later, Jesus said, I am going to heal you. So here we are in 2016, and the doctors are still saying that I'm sick. And one night I'm super frustrated and, uh, you know, I've just, I've just had it. Life is going absolutely terrible. We had just bought a new house, you know, bills were piling up. My job was terrible though. Um, it just felt, we had family members getting sick, uh, people getting cancer in our family. All, all these things were adding up uh, and the burden was really heavy. It felt like life was going sideways. And one night I remember being really frustrated and I'm just walking down the hall and I and I went down to one of the spare bedrooms in our house and I flopped on the bed and I said, why God? And I just passed out. So next thing I know, I am waking up in heaven and I'm actually in the throne room. Now I've been to heaven a couple times but this is the only throne room experience that I can honestly say I've ever had. And I was standing before the throne and I was looking off and, uh, and I saw Father God, like the essence of Father God, this like misty, bright light, swirly love, like, like no words could ever describe. It was amazing and I was mesmerized. And I was trying to think back, when was the last time that I actually saw Father God? And I couldn't remember, I think I only saw him one time before. Now I'm super blessed that Jesus and the Holy Spirit often come to me in my dreams. Super blessed by that fact. You know, I'll be thinking about something, I'll be praying about something, and quite often I'll get the answer through a dream because either Jesus or the Holy Spirit comes to me and either gives me a word or starts talking to me about that thing. So I, I'm totally in my own head, you know, kind of kind of mesmerized, like not really realizing, like, okay, I'm in heaven, I'm in the throne room, there's Father God. All these things are going through my head and... I feel the eyes of Jesus on me and I suddenly become aware that he's looking at me. So I turn my gaze over and I'm looking to Jesus and in the most peaceful, calm, loving voice, you know, I didn't feel any condemnation. He just said, because there's something I want you to know. And I woke up. Can you believe it? <laughs> I was freaking out. I asked God, why God? Why haven't you healed me? How come it's been so long? I flopped on the bed. I woke up in heaven and Jesus says, because there's something I want you to know. And I woke up. And then, you know, I didn't feel any shame or condemnation, but I was like, oh my gosh, am I that far off base? Like, and he didn't say anything. It, it totally, one, it totally ruined me. <laughs> and two, it changed my prayer life for months. I started praying, God, what do you want me to know? What am I missing? What do you want me to know, Jesus? So time goes by and I don't know how long. And I'm actually on my phone and I'm scrolling through Facebook and I see this post by uh, Pastor Joseph Prince. And in bold letters, it says, all caps, it says, there's something he wants you to know. I got so excited. I felt confirmation in the spirit. I jumped up out of the chair. I dropped my phone. I was afraid to pick it back up and look at it. I'm like, could this actually be 
the answer. So I picked up my phone and I looked at it and it said, God wants you to know. Jesus says, I am able to heal you completely and I am willing to do it today. I read it again and again. And that was the beginning of a two-year conversation with Jesus. Jesus kept bringing back the story of the uh, leper in Matthew 8, starting in verse 3. Where the leper comes to Jesus, he had a condition. By all accounts, he was incurable. And he went to the Lord and said, if you're willing, you can make me clean. And Jesus simply said, I am willing. So for two months, that phrase haunted me. I am able to heal you completely and I am willing to do it today. Now the cool thing is God actually confirmed my throne room encounter by two different individuals exactly six months later and he did it on the same day. Seriously. So six months later, my wife and I get up and we go to church and the pastor is preaching. We go to Abundant Life Church here in Bellingham and um, the pastor's preaching and Halfway through the service, he stops. And I was actually journaling, and I and I looked up at the stage, and I looked up at the pastor, and all of a sudden, it was like the roof disappeared over the congregation, and heaven opened up. So let me clarify this for a second. I'm actually a seer in the spirit, you know, uh, for those of you who know about uh, the gift of prophecy, the gift of seeing, uh, very similar gifting. Being a seer means that I see open eyed. So when angels walk into the room, oftentimes I see them uh, open eyed like I would if my wife walked in the room. Sometimes I see demons. Um, I just see in the spiritual realm. So the, the roof starts disappearing. And I see, I see heaven uh, open up. And the air becomes thick and it becomes misty and it becomes in a cloud of light. And I'm sitting way in the uh, far left back corner. And the pastor says, I think we have to stop because God wants to say something. And I, and, uh, I just feel heaven like invading the whole place, right? And the pastor says, I feel like we are in the throne room of heaven. And we're standing before Jesus. And he's asking us to stand on his word and stand on his promises. Now, you all got promises. You all been waiting on your promises for a long time. Well, God wants you to stand on his word. God wants you to stand up. Do a prophetic act and stand up right now. And as he's declaring this, I totally go into an open vision. Like I can barely see the pastor in the congregation uh, anymore. It, I mean, it, it's like misty light. And I'm actually in the throne room having the same experience as I did in my dream. And there's Jesus on the throne. And I can o actively hear my pastor, but I get knocked in to this open vision. And he's asking us to stand on his word. He's asking us to believe. He's asking us to contend for the promises. Now, beyond that, I can't really recount what happened because I just got ruined. I mean, I got wrecked in the spirit. So my wife and I decided to go to lunch. And we had signed up for a three-day weekend um, at Awaken Arise, which is a inner healing and deliverance conference. And being Sunday, it was the last day. So we left church, we went uh, to lunch, and then we hustled to get uh, to Awaken Arise. So the interesting thing is we get there and we do a little bit of worship and um, and the key leader, Janet Robinson, was uh, beginning to open up the meeting. And she started out by saying, God wants to do something. We have been here all morning and nobody has left the building. But Tabitha has something very special she wants to share because she has been laid out on the floor in a vision all morning. 
And Tabitha gets up and she starts to say, in the vision, I saw us all standing in the throne room of heaven. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> And as she starts to say, we're in the throne room of heaven, the exact same thing happens. I see the roof start to disappear. The heavens open up and become light. It's almost as if I could see the sky. Um, Heaven starts to invade earth. The atmosphere changes. Everything starts fading out. I start being sucked into this other, another open vision. Misty lights. I'm before the throne. I can barely see the natural world at all. And there's Jesus on the throne. But I can literally hear what Tabitha is saying. And Tabitha says, we're in the throne room of heaven. And God is all asking all of us to stand up. So everybody stand up, stand up, stand on the word of God, stand on your promises, stand on what he told you to be true. (laughs) <laughs> I got knocked out. I got knocked out. That time when it was coming in, I, I wasn't even kidding. My wife is sitting next to me. I felt heaven coming in so strong. I, I was like, I got to kneel. And and <laughs> my wife sees me pushing my chair back and I'm starting to get on the ground. And she just kind of smiles and go, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> And I realized, oh, I'm going to need more space than this. I'm just going to, I'm going to be laid out. So I just moved to the back of the room and laid down because heaven was invading earth. I was blown away. I mean, the word of God even says, let everything be confirmed by two or three witnesses. And in my experience, the best confirmations from God come from individuals who know nothing about your situation or circumstance, but can come in by the Spirit with a word of prophecy and tell you what God is saying to confirm uh, what he's telling you. And for me, that was it. That was my third confirmation. The third time that Jesus came to me and revealed himself as willing to completely recoup, recover, and restore. God wants his children well, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, body, soul, and spirit, mind, will, and emotions. And after the second vision, I really felt like the Lord was speaking to my heart and mind. The Lord was speaking to my spirit. This is the third time that I've come to you and let everything be established by two or three witnesses. And I felt so strongly, I had to Google it and found out that it was 2 Corinthians chapter 13, uh, verse number 1. I started studying the scripture for myself, reading books on healings. Um, I'm uh, teaching on healings, volunteering at the uh, healing rooms of Bellingham. And I have been seeing God heal people. The thing is, is the word of God is a seed. And I'll put this scripture right down here. It says, the sower sows the word. And I've heard other mighty men of God say that if you preach on repentance and salvation, you'll see salvations. And if you preach on healing, then you'll see the manifestations of healing. If you preach about the Holy Spirit and and power, then you will see the Spirit move in power in your meetings, in your church, in your congregation. And at the same time that the Lord was saying, this is the third time that I've come to you, I had Habakkuk 2.2 running through my mind. Write down the vision and make it plain, that he who reads it may run with it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it will speak and will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come. How great is that? (laughs) God is so good. God is so good. So pretty incredible, right? Spring of 2016, I have this dream, 
And then six months later, two individuals who knew nothing of my dream, I didn't even tell my wife my dream, start recounting a throne room experience and it sucked me into an open vision. Now, this started a two year long conversation with the Lord and it just kept ringing true in my spirit. God wants us to stand on his word. God's promises are true. We have to get in this book. God wants us to believe these signs will follow those who believe. They lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Greater works will you do. These are the words of Jesus. In my Bible, they're in red. But I heard the Lord say again and again and again during this time and during our conversation, I am willing. Tell them I am willing. Again, I am completely able to heal you and I am willing to do it today. So to be honest, this, this dream and this encounter is the, is the birth of the Jumpstart Project. So we are doing a um, biblical teachings on healing. We're going to the Word of God as our primary source. And um, we're just going to preach on healing line by line, verse by verse, precept by precept, believing that God wants to heal people. And uh, since faith without works is dead, we practice. You can go to our YouTube video and see some of the marketplace miracles where we literally and actually chase people down in the supermarket. Uh, following uh, the leadings and promptings of the Holy Spirit, we go on treasure hunts. We're starting to log our treasure hunts. Um, uh, God gives me pictures of people that are on the other side of town. Uh, you know, a prophetic word of encouragement, a couple of scriptures, I get a picture. We go and find those people. We're teaching on healing. We also have some healing testimonies. Uh, doc a doctor confirmed, you know, CT scans, blood work, labs, Doctor confirmed healings that we're starting to document for the healing rooms of Bellingham. So anyway, uh, check out our uh, YouTube channel. It's uh, right down here. And um, I think that's it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. I certainly enjoyed sharing. That's all the time we have for today. Um, thanks for tuning in to the Jumpstart Project. Um be really great if you uh, went to YouTube, liked and subscribed, or share these videos on Facebook with your friends. We are at Jumpstart Your Faith Project, and we'll keep the videos coming as the Lord leads. Until next time, take care, goodbye, and God bless.